Hi guys, welcome to our Tradeify walkthrough video. Uh, today we're going to take you through some of the great features on Tradeify that makes it the quickest and easiest to use job management software for tradespeople in the UK and Ireland. In the description, you'll see you're able to actually skip ahead if there's any particular features or functionalities that you've come here to see today. Um, otherwise, we're going to run you through what a typical job would look like on the Tradeify software so you can see how, how fast and easy it really is. Cool. So to get started, we're going to have a look at the dashboard, which you should see in front of you now. Um, so this gives you an idea of what jobs you've got on for the day and where they're situated just via that map on the right hand side. Uh, and then we've got a list at the bottom of invoices, quotes, purchase orders and any outstanding bills there. Excellent. So to get started with our, our job, we'll jump straight to the inquiry section on the left hand side. So this area of Tradeify can be linked up directly with a website with a forwarding email address, or you can upload inquiries manually. Um, so we can see we've got one in our to-do list here. So let's jump straight to that. By the way, when you've followed up on an inquiry and, and taken action on it, it will just shift over to the done list. So you can always go back and, and revisit any, any odd ones through there. Perfect, so let's jump to our to-do list. Uh, we've got an inquiry in here, which I'll click straight onto. So this is just pulled through at name, job address, contact details for the potential customer, as well as a description of works. So I'll go straight to inquiry actions in the bottom right hand side. And this gives us some options as to what that next step is going to be for this particular inquiry. In this example, we'll jump straight to copying the customer's details over to a quote. The system's just checking for duplicates here to make sure we're not doubling up on anyone we might have worked with before. Um, in this example, I'm just going to create a brand new customer from scratch. Excellent. So as you can see, it's pulled through the customer name and contact details, as well as a description of works. Uh, all we need to do now is just add in our line items or our costings for the, the quote. So if I click the add line item option there. The first option is time. So this allows us to specify an hourly rate on the quote, which we call billing rates. Uh, I'll touch on later on on the uh, video how to set these up, but it will allow you to input multiple rates for, for potentially certain staff members, times of the day or, or certain jobs. Now it's just a case of entering a quantity of hours, which I'll do there. And that's gone straight onto the quote. You do have the option on Tradeify to have all of your material lists pre-saved. So we can help you with doing this on the uh, training call, which we include free of charge as part of the package. Uh, the quickest way is to speak to a wholesalers or suppliers and just ask for a material list uh, via Excel or CSV. And then we can give a hand in, in dropping that into Tradeify. Of course, a key benefit of this is you can just search for material by item code or description. And it will also allow you to, of course, add a percentage mark markup automatically onto any particular service or material. From the materials you've got stored in Tradeify, you can actually create kits, which are examples of jobs made up of, of a few different elements. So let's take a consumer unit, unit as an example. That's a pre-saved job. The customer just sees uh, a description of the consumer unit but you've actually got the ability to jump in and see what labor's gone into that, what materials have gone into that, and, and what's the actual markup that we're making on each individual element there. And if you do want to keep it real simple, you've got the miscellaneous option here where you can just type in a description and a price. Tapping these buttons here will enable quote reminders. So this is either via email or text or both, and it will just send a reminder to the customer if they haven't responded to your, uh, to your quote in X amount of days. T's and C's can also be pre-saved at the bottom here. So we'll just preview this quote before we send it off. And bear in mind, your templates will already be set up with a logo as well as your T's and C's. I'll jump onto that later on in the call when we visit the settings option. Uh, colour schemes can also be changed on here as well. Brilliant. So we've put our quotation together. So let's just approve it. So approving it won't send it automatically. It's just telling Tradeify the quote is ready to go, as it were. And then from here in the top right hand side, we can send that to customer via text or email. 
On the customer's end, they'll actually see these buttons in the bottom right hand side that say accept and decline. So at the top of the button, they can let you know their decision and Tradefile will send you an email through to, to let you know whether they've gone ahead or not. Perfect. So if we tap accept, it's asking us if we're sure we want to accept the quote, which I'll say yes to. And now it's asking us to move to the next stage in the workflow. So once we've got an accepted quote, we can actually create a job from the back of that with a unique job number. So I'm going to do that now. So now we've generated a brand new uh, job with a unique job number. And this is just where you're going to manage things as soon as you've been given the go ahead from the customer. One thing you might want to consider is uh, having a play about with these job statuses in the top right hand side. So uh, you can chop and change these and add new ones in if you wish to, based on the stages that, that your works run through. And you might want to set up individual tasks as well for, for particular jobs. So you might want to set up a task for a first fix, for example, and, and have a due date. And as you go, you can tick off those tasks there. Cool. So we've generated our job. Next steps is to get that booked in. So we're going to jump straight to the schedule. Open up the scheduler, which is just an inbuilt diary, essentially. And this gives you an idea of any staff members uh, as well as connections. So connections is typically used for subcontractors. Um, it's a great little feature because it's actually free of charge and it allows you to send information to them. They can accept or decline appointments um, and gives you an idea as well as to sort of where they are and where they're booked in for. So if we just tap a, an example staff member to see their diary, I can choose a time and date, add in any staff members or connections, and it will also send the customer an email and a text if you want them to with a personal message. So that's optional there. Just tick or untick these boxes if, if you do want to use that feature. Tradeify also integrates with Google Calendar as well. So uh, Google Calendar can be directly linked up. Any appointments from Google Calendar will appear in Tradeify. Uh, so you can ensure that you're not booking yourself or, or double booking any staff members. Excellent. So we've booked our job in. So next steps would be to actually complete the works. And I know a lot of you are plumbing, plumbing and heating guys or electricians might need to fill out some certificates when on the job. So these can be found in the forms and certs section here. And um, so at the moment, we've got domestic gas, we've got some electrical ones, as well as oil certificates. So of course, these are generally filled out on the job via the app. Just a case of opening it up, of course, taking in your readings and then just getting a signature from the customer as well as the engineer. You can approve it and then email that out directly to the customer from the Tradeify software. You might want to consider using Tradeify to send out purchase orders and also reconcile those as bills. So we sent a quotation out earlier with some materials on there. Uh, the quickest way to save data reentry is to jump straight into that quote, tap copy to purchase order. We've got a few from CEF here, which we'll click on to search for the supplier, tap OK. And now that's just copied those materials directly over to a purchase order. Uh, of course, I know some of you won't be itemizing quotations all the time. So you do have the option to just create a new purchase order from scratch or just add to uh, this purchase order for, as, as an example, as a, a miscellaneous. Same as with the quotes, when you're ready to send it off, just tap approve. And that's going to send an email directly to your suppliers with a, a, an address for delivery. And then when you're ready to bill those, tap copy to bill. And now this has copied that purchase order over to a bill. And this bill can be sent directly to either Zero, QuickBooks or Sage for reconciliation. And because we've created this bill as well, it's copied all those materials over to costs in our costs section. Uh, you can see these are red because we've not invoiced for those yet. 
and we've just got our running total of costs in the, in the bottom right hand side there. If you need to store any files, pictures or, or videos, then uh, you can do this directly through the app. But if you've got anything on, on your computer which you need to upload, then that can just be done in the notes section here. Any files can be attached, so whether that's Word, Excel or pictures or videos, it will just search you at the files in the computer and you can store those nice and safely there. If you've got staff members, any of their hours allocated to a job will just sit in this time section here. Um, so feel free to check out our video specifically on the app and that will run you through how to fill out those timesheets when out and about and on the go. Uh, you can, of course, upload timesheets just manually as well through the, the web version. Perfect, so we're ready to invoice the job through now. So if we jump straight to invoices, new invoice, now we've got some options here. Uh, you might potentially want to be taking deposits up front or stage payments, which can be done either through taking a percentage of the quote or picking out line items. Uh, in this example, we'll just copy the entire quote over to an invoice. And then this will be pre-saved, of course, with any uh, account details if you're taking bank transfer, uh, as well as a logo and, and colour scheme as well. Much like with the quotations, we do ex we do uh, payment reminders too. So that can be via email or text. And we've also got an integration with Stripe, which makes it really, really quick to get paid because you can just include a link for payment on the invoice uh, and it saves the customer having to sort of set up a, a bank transfer. Cool, so let's approve the invoice and send it off. Now in our invoice section of the software, we can see what draft invoices we've got, what's unpaid, what's overdue. Uh, when you're ready, you can just send those over to Zero, QuickBooks or Sage, and they'll just jump straight through through our integration with those guys. Towards the end of the job, it's really handy to be able to send over the customer a report of what's taken place to make sure they're happy. And so I'll just run you through how to do that now. We call those job service reports and it essentially pulls through all the data we've added to the job into a nice branded PDF from you. So if I jump to a new job service report, it's pulling through description, tasks, labor, materials, as well as pictures. You can toggle certain bits of info off though if you'd rather not send them through. Now this one is probably gonna be looking rather blank because there's not too much data on here. So I'm gonna jump to settings and show you one that's been fully completed. As you can see, it can be customized with a logo and then pictures will just sit at the bottom there. Um, via the app, they can also get signed off these job service reports as well. So if you've got engineers or if you're out and about and you just want to get that confirmation from a customer, then, then that can be, be done via the app. Cool, so let's assume the customer's happy, job's tied up. We can just jump straight back to jobs and just mark this one as complete. And that's just gonna take it out of our active job list that we've got here. You can always go back and revisit complete jobs though. And um, it's obviously handy just to have all of your active jobs on, on show there. And um, this is where the job status actually really comes to the own. So you can come in if you've got a lot on and say, okay, what have we got in progress, for example, of my EICRs in, high priority. Bear in mind, all of these filters can be chopped and changed based on the types of jobs you do and how you want to fill the stuff. For any of you new stars or those of you who haven't set up a website already, we do have the functionality to do that just via Tradeify. So if we go to the website section, literally in a couple of clicks, you can set up a website for the business. So um, we'll preview this one. This is obviously quite a basic template, but you can obviously upload your, your own pictures and it would have your logos in there as well. This contact us form will be linked up directly to Tradeify too. Um, so all integrated nicely um, and only at 10 pounds a month as well additional.
Perfect. So that was an example of a, a typical job on the Tradeify software. Uh, what I'm going to do now is jump into the settings section of the system to give you an idea of how to get things going when you do start your trial. And bear in mind, guys, we do offer support throughout your time with Tradeify, whether that's a trial or a paid account. Uh, we do we set up and training call for, for subscribe users completely free of charge and the support's ongoing as well. So any bits you do need help with, you can always give us a call. And um, firstly, I'm going to start with the billing rates, which I touched on at the beginning of the call. So this is another word for hourly rates. So to add a new hourly rate, just go new billing rate, uh, add in a display name description, estimated hourly costs. So what you think that costs you from outside expenses such as fuel. And then you can set a billing uh, rounding as well as billing minimum. So you, you'll probably have a minimum hour charge, for example, for things like call outs. Now, different pricing levels can be set for different types of customers. So we've got an example here of a customer who charges different rates for different parts of the country. Uh, you can set that up how, how you please though. So you might have a rate for commercial versus residential, for example, and that's just a percentage increase based on that type of customer. So you'd assign them a pricing level. To add new pricing levels, just go to pricing levels at the top right, new pricing level, and then just add in your display name and percentage markup. Cool, so let's uh, go to document themes now. So this is another word for document templates. So this is where you set up your uh, invoices and quotes with your logos and things. So um, I'll jump to one we made earlier. So left-hand side, of course, is company details. Right-hand side is logo. This, these bits of information will uh, be on every invoice quote, bill, and job service report that you send. If I tap the invoice tab, that's invoice-specific information. So generally backs details and T's and C's for invoices. Uh, terms for quotes will sit in there. Terms for purchase orders and bills will go in that section. And then your terms for your job service reports, that's the uh, report that customers can sign off to say they're happy with the job. Perfect, guys. So that was Tradeify in a nutshell. Uh, hopefully you've, you've enjoyed the video today. Uh, we do, as I said, we do offer a 14 day free trial. So that will really help you deep dive into the software to see if it's going to be a good fit for your business. Uh, and bear in mind during that period, you'll have a, a member of the team from Tradeify there to assist you and give you any help if you've got any, any particular questions on there. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye bye.